What's up guys? Wait, how do I start that? So how did this all begin? About a year ago, I was creating some travel vlogs and as I started editing them, I realized something. I need music and I almost considered buying it. That's when I began making my own music and I said, well, this is, would be something that would be really great to share with others. There are some excellent vloggers out there and some that use music and sound beautifully. Peter McKinnon is one of my favorites. His music is awesome. It's positive, it's uplifting, it builds energy, and there's always this awesome beat drop that goes into his incredible cinematography. Peter uses Epidemic Sound. That's a site that allows you to license music based on how many views you get. But there's another way creating your own. All you need is an iPad, install GarageBand, which is free, and it's gonna be super easy. So I'm gonna show you today how to create vlog music in the style of Peter McKinnon's. Now, if you get stuck, don't worry, I'm posting a link to this entire GarageBand project down in the description below. All right, so I'm doing this on the iPad, but you can also do this on the iPhone. So we're gonna start with a brand new song. Just hit the plus sign at the top right. And make sure you're on live loops. At the top in the middle, you have the choice of either starting with tracks or live loops. Make sure you're starting with live loops and you're gonna click new. From here, all we're gonna do is start layering instruments, layering loops. Let's first set the tempo, hit the wrench icon at the top right. And we're gonna set our tempo at 130. And the first thing we're gonna add is a beat. So click on the plus sign on the left hit loops, and you can actually filter this list by instruments, click on instruments, click on all drums, and now I want you to look for the beat called full on beat. There's full on beat, drag this over to the first cell on the first column. If you wanted to listen to it, you can just click on that. Now we're just gonna layer a few more instruments. Click on the next row, the plus sign, click on loops again, under instruments, this time filter on electric piano, and we're looking for True Love Electric Piano. We're going to drag that to the next row. Now we're gonna add a synth. The synth is called Against Time Keys. So filter by synths, Against Time Keys. There it is. Drag that over next. Then we're gonna add a bass. And the bass we're looking for is called Diesel Power Sub. There it is. Drag that over. And we've pretty much got our verse done. Let's listen to what it sounds like. If you click the arrow at the bottom of that column, plays all the loops at once, let's press that. Now we're gonna add our chorus. First, we're gonna add our chorus beat, and we're gonna add this not as a loop, but as an instrument. So instead of clicking loops this time, you're gonna click on instruments, and we're gonna look for the drummer. There's drums and then there's drummer. So choose drummer and click on electronic. And we're gonna look for the drummer named Jasper. And we're gonna choose Jasper's beat called full stop. And on the left side, we're gonna move that dot between loud and complex. But we're gonna take down the fills down to about there, close to the edge of the snare drum that you see in the picture. And that's it. So now we've got Jasper's drums. Let's go back to the grid at the top left. So we're gonna add another loop. We're gonna add the synth called Anthem Fever Synth. And I'm just gonna put that already into that third column. The bass this time is called Bliss Abyss Synth Bass. Number two, drag that down there. Let's move that chorus beat. If you click the bottom left where you have the little icon that looks like a grid with a pencil on it, click that and now you can move around your loops. Move that 
Jasper drum over to the third column. I want to put a riser in there. What the riser is going to do is it's going to build up energy between our verse and our chorus. Click on the plus button there, click on loops again, and this time we're going to do a search and we're going to type in riser. And then at the bottom, we're looking for the dubstep riser FX03. There it is. I'm going to drag this over to our middle column uh, right there. Let's cut it in half. So if you actually click on the edit, go to the riser, click on settings, and we're going to change the length to one beat. There you go. Oh, by the way, let's let's listen to what that chorus sounds like. Sounds okay, but we're missing a few things. I want to actually bring in the electric piano that we had and the beat that we had in our verse over to the chorus as well. So this time I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy that beat from the verse to the chorus. And I'm going to copy the electric piano. We're also going to copy the synth over to our chorus. Let's hear what our chorus sounds like now. We're going to fix the levels a little bit now. So let's open up your mixer at the left and we're going to just adjust these a little bit. The only thing I feel like is missing now is like a little melody, right? So when you have the verse going on, it's just missing a little something. All right, so we've only added loops up until now, but what I'm going to do is actually add a little melody with an instrument. So I'm going to hit the plus button. Instead of hitting loops this time, I'm going to go to instruments and we're going to choose from keyboards. We're going to choose alchemy synth. We're going to choose the sound called shimmering bells. There's shimmering bells. And now we're going to play just a really, really simple melody. So now what we're going to do is trigger these loops as a whole song. Click the record button. Here we just have the electric pianos playing. Let's add some of the other instruments. Once we're getting into the chorus, here we go. Now you can export the song. Just go to My Songs. There's a song we just created. Hold that down. Click on Share. Click on Song. Usually at this point, what I do is I just airdrop the song over to my Mac where I'm going to be doing my video editing and add it to my vlog. And that's it. And you can apply this tutorial to any type of music in any genre. Make it your own. Your vlogs are your way of telling your story. Be creative. Make the music that you love. Hey, if you get really good at this, you can actually sell your vlog music on Epidemic Sound or tons of other sites that do the same thing. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. What's up, 